Okay, people, this is Double Charge 17, and welcome back to another episode in my Minecraft Let's Play series. And uh, today we're going to be joined by someone special. Oh, what a, what an entrance. We're going to be joined by Brad. Um, Brad, you want to say hi? Nope. You, you, you want to walk in the, the bathroom? Okay, well, uh, normally he'll play hide and seek with me in the morning. Uh, he'll go into a random painting or something. Uh, but today I found you. Um, but Brad, um, if you don't know him, uh, he intruded the house the last episode. He broke in through the windows and attacked me. Um, and uh, we're cool now. He went to jail. Um, we built a hospital and we, we helped him up. And oh, Brad, you want to take a shower? Is that what you want to do? Okay, here you go. You still got your clothes on and stuff, but there you go. Nice little shower. I'm actually going to take one myself. So, uh, Brad, can you leave the bathroom just, just for a little bit while I uh, take a shower? Yes, yes. You can come back. You can come back. Don't worry. Um, no, he, he refuses. He, he wants to stay in here. Um, but I'm just going to take a shower real quick. Um, so, no? Oh, you don't want to? Okay, this is a little bit creepy, Brad. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit creepy, but I'm, I'm going to get in uh, really quick. Brad, why are you staring at me? He just, he's just staring at me. I mean, it's better than him just standing outside the door and staring at me, but uh, um, at least he's, he's open about it. But yeah, so let's go ahead and go get some breakfast. Um, of course, we got to eat some pumpkin pie for breakfast every morning. I'm going to sit down right here. We can just barely see uh, the hospital that I built in the last episode. Um, so uh, that's it's a little bit sad. We'll, go, we'll have a better look at it. But uh, there we go. We built that last episode, and that's where we uh, healed um, Brad up and everything. And, uh, yeah, he's not green and, and slimy and gross anymore. Um, but, uh, yes, yeah, so let me go ahead and get my armor on so we can go to the vault um, and add someone uh, to it. Um, and get someone's name. We have someone special we're going to be adding, and then we can grab a dog. We can start our day. Um, but yeah, so let's go to the, the vaults. And today, who we, we are going to be adding is, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, um, SXHLZY6522. Um, and that is because they comment on almost all of my videos, um, at least recently, and uh, they're always before everyone. They're always, um, it's it's them and uh, Valero. They're always here, um, one of the first ones. And so I want to thank you so much for the support, and welcome to the vault. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully this is a good episode. And today I am going to go ahead. I'm going to bring Zippy with me, uh, just because I haven't brought her in a while and she's been very, very good. Um, uh, I think she's the newest member, um, in the doghouse. Um, but, um, I am hoping to get some more soon, um, because I only have four and I would love to have more. I love dogs. Uh, but yeah, so today what I'm going to be doing is building a supermarket. It's going to be right here next to the uh, hospital and the uh, police station. Um, it's going to be a big building. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build the, uh, the front of it. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we'll work on uh, the back of it. Um, and I'll speed that up for you guys. And we'll go on the inside. But uh, yeah, so right here, what we're going to do um, is, I believe, this is going to be white. Yeah, so here's going to be the door. Uh, these two torches right here mark the door. Um, and it is 43 blocks by 20. Um, so we're going to go up and make the door. So it's going to be one, two, uh, three, four. Um, and then we're going to come in uh, three just like that. It's going to come down. And I'm actually going to get rid of um, underneath right here because um, that's where we're going to be able to see that. That's where the glass is going to be. Because if you've seen a supermarket, they have like the sliding glass doors. Um, that would be super cool if I can make them uh, slide. But um, <laughs> they're just going to be big doors that are always open because I want to make sure everyone knows that they're uh, welcome um, at all times if they ever need some food and stuff. So here we go. These are the doors right here. Um, and you'll walk in uh, right down the middle right here. Um, three block gap and that's going to be yellow most of the building is going to be yellow so we're going to go in uh, one two three uh, just like that the birch is going to come in two then it's going to be white and we're going to have three um, and then we're going to go three again um, and then two things of birch and there we go this is what the first one's going to look like so um, let me go ahead and do this so one two three this is going to kind of match up um, right here we're gonna have some more windows where you can kind of just look in um, and so you can kind of see if you've been to a supermarket before you know it's it's like covered in windows um, and so that's basically what I'm going for it's a, it's a light blue glass too instead of just a normal so um, I'm feeling a little bit more special with it this is going to be the birch it's going to go up and this is actually going to be what's kind of covering the entire uh, supermarket um, but for just the front it's going to go over uh, the windows just like this and meet up with the other birch that is on this side. Um, so yeah, this is what the window is going to be looking like. Um, we'll do the same thing on that side as well. For now, I want to work on the sign that's going to be right down the middle. And so basically, it's going to be seven blocks tall. And hi, Zippy. She's following me uh, everywhere. I do remember that about her. She's very fast. I'm just going to go all the way around like this. And so let's work on the actual sign. So here's what's going to happen. This entire way right here is going to be white. And we're going to go one block in, which is this white block right here. And we're going to go up. So it's going to go... Uh, one, two, three, four. Um, oh, sorry, that's going right here. Uh, four, five, just like that. And then we're actually not going to come in. We're going to get rid of this block. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to kind of come down uh, like that. And we're going to do the same thing right here. Um, and let me kind of come to the side 
and look at that. I believe that's exactly how it's going to be. Um, and then we're going to skip a block. Um, this is going to go once again uh, right here. It's going to go up two. Um, and then once again, we're going to do the same thing right here. It's going to go over two. Let me get rid of the corner. Um, that's the uh, the C. Um, and we're going to skip a block again. This is going to come down like that. It's an apo apostrophe. And actually, this is going to go um, past the white block. This is the only uh, wool that is not white that will be there. And then here's going to be the S. This is uh, going to be a little more difficult. Uh, S's are a little bit more uh, hard to make. But it's going to come up and we'll go like this. And let me kind of fill that in. Um, and there we go. So now all we got to do is fill this all in with white. And it should say DC 17s. And that is uh, perfect, actually. We got uh, the perfect sign. Um, I thought that was going to take uh, one or two tries um, but uh, actually I got it on the first one, so that's perfect. Uh, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up there and we're gonna put in the uh, bricks. Now the bricks are actually gonna go out one block um, and that way it looks a little more realistic. Um, now I'm gonna need my uh, pickaxe. Um, but yeah, so it looks a little, more, a little more realistic when it comes out just like this. And then we're gonna go and put two layers um, of uh, yellow. So to go two layers of yellow like this, um, and then another layer of bricks, and then on top of the bricks, we're gonna put a uh, layer of logs. And this is what it's supposed to look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side as well. Um, and I found the perfect trick. I found out some magic if you guys like it, but uh, if I just snap my fingers, all I gotta do is make it appear. There you go. And so now I'm gonna fill in this little cabana right here. So we're gonna start in with these torches. Um, and this is gonna go uh, three, four, um, it's going to match up just like this. It's going to go and alternate with the red and the white. And then what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish the outside, all the other layers. There's three other walls. Uh, we'll finally be able to work on the inside so that um, we can kind of figure out the second story and everything. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the front. Um, I, this is like the, the main part that I spent a lot of time on trying to figure it out. It took a few tries, but I think I got the perfect color of scheme. That way it matches along with all the rest of the buildings here. But yeah, I'm going to speed it up and build the outside, and I hope you enjoy. And here's what the outside looks like. It's not as exciting as the front. It's just kind of plain and a little bit boring, uh, but it does give us a chance to go on the inside, which I have kind of marked out where I'm gonna put things. Um, the ceiling is uh, filled with glowstone to keep it in with light. We even got some windows, but for now we're gonna kind of work on this front side. Now we'll eventually go ahead and do the uh, whole floor, which is gonna be quartz, but I wanna make sure I get all these marked out first. So this is basically just gonna be like a big basket. It's gonna have watermelons. So you know when you go into a, a supermarket and there's, there's melons in there, they have like special cells and stuff and you go ahead and pick which one you uh, think is going to taste the best and so if I just go ahead and just fill this all in and I'm sorry Zippy can you can you move just just a little bit this is what it will end up looking like and now we'll do the exact same thing on the other side but we're going to use pumpkins and so there we go the final touches of the uh, the traditional parts of a supermarket and next we're going to work on the self checkouts because we know that's where the world's heading now this is going to be pretty simple we've all seen these before basically it's just a black thing in the middle here we're going to put a slab this is where you can kind of put all your stuff down it's going to go up one more and we'll put an item frame and that is basically the entire thing complete and what you'll do is say you want to buy some pumpkin pile go ahead and put it in the scanner right here it'll tell me how much it is and uh, what I'll have to do for it and then once it's done I go ahead and click it out and it's ready to buy now I've, I've completely bought it now everything in here will cost emeralds um, I don't know if it's <laughs> I think you'll just kind of come in there won't be a certain prices but yeah there's only gonna be two for now we'll see if this store if the, if this supermarket is a big hit um, then yeah of course we'll, we'll add some more in but for now um, we're just gonna have these two and, and see how that works out and now before we start the stairs to go to the second floor, we're going to dig out this entire area and we're going to replace it with all of these quartz slabs. All right, so now it's really starting to look like a supermarket with all the, the quartz because it always got the white tiles um, and stuff. And so basically now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around uh, this quartz for the second floor and I'm going to fill it all in with uh, oak wood. So we are eventually going to have a door um, that will lead under here. So you'll be able to actually walk all back here and stuff. This will be like the employees we will have like a bathroom and stuff. Um, but basically this is going to kind of lead up here. We'll have some glass panes as well and it'll go around like a little railing so no one falls off and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look really nice. Now if I just follow the exact same pattern for the glass panes like I did over here, um, it'll lead to the different aisles with like the food um, and all the different prices and stuff that you can buy. And I mean, I am kind of excited for that because I didn't actually design it um, all that much. Um, and so I'm going to kind of figure this out right now about how we're going to have the shelves. So this is what I came up with. There are different shelves and they all have item frames. And so you just kind of go up and uh, see what you want. 
um, with the items inside and uh, you'll get it. So uh, basically um, these are going to be food um, and then this is going to be like clothes, like leather. Um, I believe it should be uh, one of everything. And I had to kind of get creative and get some uh, different items to put. So there's uh, all the different meats and stuff. It's all cooked. Um, and then we're going to go to like the stew and the bread and stuff and kind of lead to that. So here's some stew. Put this all uh, over here with the seaweed. And then um, we're going to get into the desserts, which is cake, um, which we don't like, but uh, pie, which is amazing. And the cookies, which are, they're all right. And then we get like the seeds and stuff and then it'll lead to like the drink. So yeah, this is perfect. So uh, this is what this shelf is going to look like. Um, if you look down um, from down at the bottom, um, you can kind of see clearly all the different items and you go and pick which one. And it looks like I got a horse to join me. I, I, this isn't a horse that I tamed or anything. I don't think I have uh, the right stuff, but it just came inside the supermarket. I'm sorry, sir. Um, it is not open yet, but it is almost, uh, it's almost done. So uh, I'll let you know when you can kind of come up here again. Okay, now we're on the styling part of the store, which if you didn't know, you can actually dye the water, um, and which is how you change the color of the uh, armor you have. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to have the stands. We're going to have all the different colors. We're going to have green. Uh, and then black right next to it. Um, you can actually change it um, seasonally, I guess, uh, when the weather changes and stuff, or maybe that color goes out of style, you can go ahead and put a different color on and uh, hopefully people will buy it. But yeah, here is the stylist part. Now I do realize there is a few pieces of food I miss like carrots and all the raw stuff, but I don't really care about that too much. And if you're gonna be paying um, emeralds for any of it, uh, I, I, I'm, I, I would assume that everyone wants uh, the cooked version anyways. Um, and no, this doesn't go here. So uh, right here, I'm trying to organize um, a way to do this. Let me actually take the stone. Um, I guess I will put this here. Well, let me actually do this first. I want to put the armor down, um, and that way you can kind of see um, all the different pieces of armor you can get, um, all these hoes that you can get for like gardening and stuff. Um, and then, let's see, I guess I'll put the uh, stuff here. Um, actually, no, I'll put the wood first because that just makes more sense. Um, and then this will kind of come together. And then I have a bow and arrow, a fishing rod, an arrow, and a shield. So I think I'll put the bow and arrow and this here. Um, and then I'll put this and then the shield uh, like that. And there you go. That's perfect. So this is actually uh, the entire inside done. Um, for the most part, I think uh, I want to add like a bathroom in. I, I guess right here would be a good place, um, but I'm not going to do that in this episode just because bathrooms are not necessary in Minecraft. We all know that. But what I do want to do um, in this episode is make a ladder and make it go all the way up to the roof. Yeah, so I think the best spot would probably be right here just because it's in the corner. I don't want it to be noticeable. Um, and we'll go ahead and grab this uh, trap door, put that over it just like that. And there we go. We got an easy way to get on the roof. And I really like this view. I like you can look down um, through the window and you can also look out on the world and please zippy don't fall off, but you can kind of look at the world. It's kind of ironic because I, I like the view that I'm up here for, but um, I also can't see the thing that I just built uh, because I'm on top of it. But uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys um, like it as well. And for some reason I can't get down there. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think this is pretty much it um, for the video, but I do want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.